This pattern right here is said to be breaking out somewhere in Q1 2023 and in this exact video I will be talking about my price targets, the levels that we could be expecting if we are experiencing a breakdown and much much more so don't forget to watch this video till the end because I will also discuss the Bitcoin yearly candles, the Bitcoin monthly support line that we're currently still holding on towards, my trade and much much more on today's update video so don't forget to once again slap up that like button, it will be absolutely incredible if we can once again and slap up that like button back above 300 likes also a big merry christmas to anyone who is watching this right now because yes i am currently recording this on the first christmas day so merry christmas to everyone out there on the channel and let me dive in towards the content very quickly so we can keep this video very short so looking at the five minute time frame for bitcoin you can clearly see on this chart bitcoin has been going nowhere it's been going sideways for such a long period of time right now here basically we've been ranging between the low what is somewhere around 16.7k towards the top of 16.8k and that is a 125 dollar range and we have been trading in this range right now for longer than three days that is crazy we've been trading in this 120 dollars consolidation range for longer than two and a half to arts three days already that is quite a long time and like you know the longer we're going to consolidate in such kind of a region the more volatile the breakout is going to be for bitcoin looking at our analysis from yesterday nothing is changing it's still the same so still waiting for that breakout and of course if we break bullish or bearish it's going to either bring bitcoin back up towards uh, mid 17s or if we're breaking down towards low 16s so those are still the same targets as yesterday also on the four early time frame we're still consolidating so far we have not experienced the break uh, breakout and also what we can currently see is that once i'm open Opening up the volume on the chart we can clearly see that the volume is drying up what basically means that yeah there's less and less people buying and selling bitcoin over the course of this weekend over the course of this past week basically and because of the volume drying up we could be expecting that once the volume kicks in here we're going to see an explosive move up or down of course it's right now christmas and usually bitcoin is a little bit slower at christmas but as soon as christmas is done we tend to see large amounts of volatility enter the market so i am currently actually really expecting that the tuesday is going to be very volatile for bitcoin if we are going to be looking at this pattern we can see that it is coming towards an end somewhere in about let me say this correctly one and a half day and one and a half day is going to be arguably come in about uh yeah tomorrow on the monday on the second day of christmas so let's see how it's going to be playing out here maybe we could extend this one a little bit right here however really if we're going to be seeing the breakout happening uh tomorrow i still will take it very cautiously but uh yeah what i really want to be seeing is just the volume picking up because if the volume picks up and we have a breakout then i will definitely be very comfortable with trading this exact breakout right here however right now we can see the volume is drying up and due to that we're expecting of course a big swing once we clearly break outside of this range here with a high volume spike looking at my trade of course compared to yesterday nothing has been changed my strategy remains the same if we go lower i will add more margin i did change something up with my trade here because currently i'm 1.6x leverage long on my trade here what means that i deleverage my trade a little bit here and currently i entered 3.83 bitcoin in towards my trading position so yeah i'm just deleveraging it a little bit here and uh, if we really go lower i will just be buying more and more margin in towards this trade but i just decided to uh, deleverage uh, uh, deleverage it a little bit right now here you can see that i'm currently um have my liquidation price around 10.6k and if we come down towards levels to 13 to 14 thousand dollars that is the point where it will be doubled down on my position on my margin so um it will bring down my liquidation price even more significantly from of that point onwards so that is my strategy right now here if you are interested in trading you can check out the links in the description because if you sign up using any of these links you will get an additional deposit bonus after your initial deposit looking then at the daily time for we can see bitcoin is right now creating a gigantic pattern and this is called a falling wedge and if you don't know a falling wedge is a typical bullish bias reversal pattern for bitcoin and currently we are seeing it we're seeing the bullish bias reversal pattern happening however the bullish bias reversal pattern only tends to be breaking towards the upside once we do break that upward slope uh, sorry down sloping resistance line right so i'm going to keep my eyes wide open on this down sloping resistance line where we actually got rejected by already three times and if we're looking at the support we can see that we also got supported three times already so if i'm really going to be looking at the apex when are we going to be expecting a breakout it is 
within 50 days from now on so somewhere in q1 2023 so that is definitely the thing we should be looking out for of course if we're going to be breaking bullish or bearish i will be taking the conservative target and that is of course this target from the swing high to low here if we're breaking bullish we could be going towards levels around 23.2k towards twenty four thousand dollars. and if we really have that bearish breakdown we could be visiting levels somewhere around 11 to ten thousand dollars so definitely two very important targets definitely two very drastic targets and that is also what i will be looking out for and that is why this pattern is so important we can clearly see an important downward sloping support line that's getting met and an important resistance line from the top side and once we meet or like break out bullish or bearish it's just going to be determining whether we're going to see another push up or another push down for bitcoin then looking the yearly candles for bitcoin we can currently see something very interesting happening because yes this is indeed a red candle after three green candles for bitcoin and just like the previous cycle we had three green candles and after that we had one red one and then we had two more green candles for bitcoin so yes world once again uh, repeats itself will the next three years once again be green of course we're right now in a different market environment so it doesn't necessarily have to repeat itself but what i do want to be pointing out here is that this is arguably one of the most worst years for bitcoin because this year bitcoin has been going down 63 percent here in the previous bear market it was 73 percent and in the bear market of 2014 it went down 56 percent of course the year after we had a bigger wick here but however this yearly candle is the second worst yearly candle bitcoin ever has experienced so second worst year for bitcoin but also the second biggest opportunity to buy bitcoin right now here that is definitely very interesting to look at and also historically speaking bitcoin never closed a candle below its previous yearly close here in terms of the red candle and like you can see we didn't do it right here we didn't do it right here but we look to be closing the yearly candle below the previous uh yeah uh, yeah below the um a green candle right now so that is definitely an uh, unfortunate thing to see happening but in the end of the day doesn't really change up anything of course we're in a different environment we are having of course the economic recession right now with us and due to that we are having all of these bearish effects on the market however i'm still convinced that 2023 is going to be a good year of course we could see some wicks on the lower side but just like previous years around we usually tend to see that after such a worse year good tends to follow and if we're then going to be looking at the monthly time frame and at the logarithmic support line we can currently see that the lower logarithmic support line has been providing support for bitcoin quite a lot of times already and we're once again retesting this level um i think it's a quite an important level to be paying attention to what you can see right now uh in 2014 2013 2012 we found support in the 2015 cycle we found support in the pandemic crash we found support and yet again we are finding support so i i wanted to be pointing this out here this is an important level to be looking at right now here but anyways it is christmas today so i will keep it very short and that was it for me on today's update video of course on my short-term analysis nothing had changed i'm still waiting to see whether it's going to be breaking bullish or bearish and that will also determine my next trade i will patiently look about how the volume is going to come in this in this market if the volume dries up even more we have that breakout without any volume i am not going to enter any trades i want to see volume enter the market once we are seeing that breakout so um, that is why i will be waiting for so thank you so much for watching to our amazing new update video here on the channel if you truly enjoyed it don't forget to slap up that like button and i'll see you guys on the next one peace out goodbye